Welcome back, guys. I guess we're doing three-part Cooking with Chase YouTube this week. Um, like I said on the other videos, we aren't doing the live this Friday, but hey, we want to make sure that you guys can you know follow along um, with the meal that I'm doing if you want. So we did a nice Mediterranean salad. Um, we have some corn in there, some cheese, some cucumbers, olives, tomatoes. Check it all out on the other YouTube uh, link there for Mediterranean salad. And then this one, we did a real nice uh, cocktail that was summertime whiskey though. That one was uh, blackberry, and so check that out as well. But for this dish, we need one watermelon, <clears throat> some feta, some mint, and a little basil if you want. I've even been known to throw a little bit of white onion in there if you want. So we want a lot of a lot of watermelon. So cut your watermelon open. However you like to cut a watermelon, go ahead and feel free. It's not um, super important here. You know, some people cut it open and then they spoon it out. Some people cut it up into a half wedge and then you uh, scrape it out. It really doesn't matter. We just want little cubes. So as long as we can do little cubes at the end, like this, we get fine. We had some black, uh, some chocolate mint grown in the garden. If you have small mint leaves or larger mint leaves, we actually use this mint for some of our cocktails as well. Uh, we have another black and blue berry mojito that we we like. That's on the Instagram page. It's also on the YouTube page. For this. We don't want two small leaves. We want to make sure we have some mint in there. We want to know it. Um, the feta is going in next. We want uh, about small little cubes that are a little smaller, about half the size of the watermelon. Throwing a little more watermelon here, as I want more watermelon than feta, and then just enough mint to cover it all. So this is very um, a menu, a recipe that you can do all by the amount of people you want to serve, how you want it to look on a plate. I'll plate it up here, and I'll post some pictures for the Instagram, of course, but. Chances are, if you've already seen the Instagram, you've already seen this video. So thanks so much for watching the video, and thanks so much for joining on YouTube. We're going to throw in a little pepper. That's for personal favorites. And then fresh little basil leaves, just because we had them in the garden. Give a little chicken on here. It's really just for the hidden flavor. Mint, basil, a little feta. When we're really just cutting these these mint leaves in half here. And mix this together. And 
serve this on a little plate here. If you want, then make sure you put some lemon in there. It'll make the uh, watermelon preserve a little bit, keep the cover color live, and you can put a little sprig of mint on top of that, just like that. Not too many people do this, but I always add a little pepper on mine for color. Um, pepper and watermelon, no, it doesn't make sense. Well, it does sometimes. And if you like, you can even put a little salt, but the feta isn't salty enough. So, yeah, just enjoy.